What's going on, y'all? Johnny J back at it again with another video, another berserk video. So this right here is episode 14. I'm probably gonna watch episode 14 and 15. Last time on Berserk, episode 11 through 13 was the focus. The focus was on Casca and her come up as far as her being rescued by Griffith and then her becoming a part of the Hawks and how she went from, you know, someone who was just a soldier to, I think they were a commander now. So I think that was interesting. I mean, I, I, I saw it more as like a little side story, not really a part of the main story, but it was just interesting just to see uh, focus on this character, this female character. And I was heavily, heavily um, pushed on in the last few episodes was her being a female and how that um, made everyone look at her from, you know, her comrades to even the enemies. So, yeah, man, it was it was real, real dope just to see that and how that played into how everyone uh, took her seriously or didn't take her seriously, right? So, episode 14, let's see how this plays out. Let's go. Oh, no, she's not going to put up a fight? Hey man, these dudes is. <laughs> That's crazy. I won't let you rape me either. What? <laughs> I'd lay off if I were you. Hey, the squad came. You're messing with our only woman. You'll pay for that. Sorry, I was late. It took quite a while to convince those generals you needed saving. Hey! She still got that fever. I'm all right. Just... We... We must hurry. Where's the, where, where's the boy Griffith at, man? I'll make it. I have to make it. Damn. Hey man, this boy guts marks all these niggas. God damn. Stand aside! Clear a path, please! We have an emergency. Make way! Put me down. I can still walk on my own. Don't move. We'll make it work. Look! They're really back! So, is he gonna be alright? Well, we don't have to worry about him dying. <laughs> but he needs total bed rest. Total bed rest? Then what are you suggesting we do with him? When the army breaks camp to move out, you should leave him behind. I endanger my life every time I go into battle. Well then, fine. Do whatever you like. <laughs> I'm sorry for having worried you all. We're just glad you're safe, Casca. I can't believe Sir Griffith left for the War Council already. I mean, he could have waited to see if you were all right. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, I'm sorry, Casca. When we first thought we lost you two back at the cliff, I asked Griffith to send out a search party. Unfortunately, the nobles didn't quite agree with that course of action. But then, Griffith really let them have it. Give this to the big guy for slaying a hundred men. Is it medicine? I got it from this company of traveling players I used to work for. Now you may find this hard to believe, but they say that it's made from fairy dust. Yeah, he's super Pain stitched up. Subsiding. What is that stuff? Judo gave it to me. I'm not talking about just you. I mean Griffith also. The two of you have something important that you can stake your lives on. I think it's great. I truly mean that. So long as I have my soul to fight with, I'm sure to survive. Year after year, I prove it to be true. Before joining the Hawks, I always survived. No matter the odds, no matter how hopeless a losing battle, I fight because I know nothing else. Once I was willing to do just that, to commit myself to fighting. 
and let anyone else find a reason for me. <laughs> anyway, I imagine this all sounds pretty dumb. Are you thinking of leaving the hawk? Oh, wow. Hey, look! It's the captain! And Grimmett! Uh, Welcome back, Sir Griffin! Don't mind the And look! It's huh? Dust! I have to apologize. It's because of me that everyone here was held back. I put Dust and his raiders in danger as well. And I'm not worthy to be a commander. I accept whatever comes... <laughs> Did he smack her butt? Welcome back. <laughs> All right, let's have a drink. <laughs> All right, episode fifteen. This is a fine state of affairs to think that we, the White Tiger Knights of one of the strongest armies in all of Midland, we've been beaten so easily. This war was triggered when the Empire staged an invasion of Midland's territory. The castle of Daudry not only belonged to our kingdom, but it served as an integral part of our defenses. A full-out attack may be our final option. That is far too risky. Consider the campaign thus far. We've already lost nearly 40% of our forces. What is your opinion, Sir Griffith? I dare say, even your invincible band of the Hawk wouldn't be able to handle this matter, am I right? If we order, we could. Yes, it's too much even for the hawks. <laughs> During the past hundred years, <laughs> he's like, the nah, Spanish bro. Defenses has been scratched. We could do it. Attempts to recapture it. Knowing this, you still believe you can conquer it, my lord Griffith? Do you? It is my command that the hawks commit themselves to Dovre. His Majesty is certainly aged. Entrusting this to a boy like that. It's a foolish thing for you as a man to say, and yet he seems as though he stepped forth from a painting. I just hope that Griffith keeps his head. Huh? Do you remember what I told you a little while ago? When that hawk got involved in that territorial dispute in that region, that nobleman was promoted to governor in a certain empire. His bride might have spoke the loudest when they awarded the position. The governor of the Empire of Cheaters Northland, Governor Ganon. That's the title that he currently holds. Mm. You were escaped as usual. I could even hear your shouting on the way up here. Please have a seat, my lord. That is fine. It would seem that according to my spies, the second wave for the conquest of Dolby has been chosen. That name is familiar to you, my lad. And the hawk. Hmm. It is a matter concerning the leader of the hawks. The white hawk. No, see, he's still messing with those little boys, if you notice. You got the boy servant there. Hard. But, sir, remember. Thinking. I know that if we send you to take a position with his back to the river, all right then, they can temporarily hold out by their numbers alone. We'll march our armies squarely at their ranks. Damn it. Look at this dust. It's everywhere. It's a part of my plan. Are you all right? <laughs> Good. The time has come to move. First formation, charge! The enemy is charging. First formation contains 2,000 men directly under the control of Griffith. Ridiculous. Why divide his army into two formations when he only has 5,000 men? What could they possibly be trying to do to such a man? Come on, attend to me. Yes, sir. 
Have my personal guard prepared to take the field. I wish to command directly from the ground. Come on, man! Get moving! Yeah! Governor General, sir. The enemy is retreating. Will you miss seizing victory just to gape at their back? No, sir. Must we? I can turn! I command all of you. Do not kill the enemy's leader, Count Griffith. He is to be captured alive. Huh? Totally outnumbered and bringing up the rear all by myself. Even so, they're taking the bait just as Griffith predicted. Everything was executed so that it would play perfectly into your hand. Well, y'all, that right there is the end of episode 14 and 15. Pretty good. 14, it was more in line with episodes 11 through 13. So I looked at that one more as a filler, but then at the same time, more of a character development of Casca. It also showed how important Griffith values Casca and Guts. And also what was interesting about episode 14, too, at the end, was that you see um, this conversation of Guts leaving the Hawks. And that was pushed more into episode 15, which I'll get into a little bit later. But also what I liked about episode 14 that we also saw in 15 was Guts. He's becoming more involved with the Hawks on more of a personal level, like outside of just fighting. Like you see him over in episode 14 when he's like, um, let's have, you know, let's go out and drink. And, you know, you really didn't see that earlier on when he joined the Hawks. Like they kind of had to force him into um you know becoming more social with the group and in this one he's uh doing that on his own and then you see that in 15 when he's over there playing games with you know his his uh, comrades so i think that was that was interesting to see also if you think about him leaving the group it's kind of like all right let me you know, get out as much as I can with these people before I leave type of situation. So I think that was that was uh, great. And I think also in episodes 11 through 14, um, it kind of led up into episode 15 as far as just developing uh, the Griffith character when it comes to... Because I, I forgot what episode it was when I did the reactions for episode 11 through 13. It was stated by Casca that Griffith is the type of person to go out and get what he wants by any means necessary, which is why he slept with the nobleman who was messing with those boys. And it was now revealed that in episode 15, that nobleman is the governor who is now in charge of this army that they're going up against now. And it's dope how they put that seed out there earlier on in those episodes and then they went right into developing that because I thought that was just something that was just thrown out there. I didn't think they was going to come back and bring that into the series. So for them to do that and actually make that governor or that nobleman at the time an antagonist and to see how that's going to play into Griffith when it comes to his battle strategy because What's shown in this episode is the same thing that's shown in other episodes when it comes to Griffith and why the Hawks are so good is that Griffith, he's really good at strategizing. So I want to see if that's going to mess with Griffith's head because now the governor's like, oh, my White Hawk, he's returned. I got to keep him alive because I want, I want to capture him and maybe um, expound upon that relationship that we once had. So... It's going to be interesting to see these upcoming episodes and how Griffith is going to uh, see this this governor as far as him going full force when it comes to taking him out or maybe him being a bit more hesitant and that might ruin the strategy that um, he has laid out for the Hawks when it comes to conquering uh, the governor and his army. So I'm very, very interested to see how this series is going to move forward. It's only like, I think, 10 episodes left. I think I made a mistake in one of the other videos when I said it was like 30-something episodes. There's only only 20-something episodes. So, with only these last few episodes, man, 
let's see how this all ties back into what we saw in episode one. A lot of you guys said that, yo, your answers are going to be, que your, your questions are going to be answered. So I really want to see how this is going to lead into that. So um, I'm prepped, man. I'm prepped. It seems like we are coming on the tail end of, we're coming up on the tail end of Guts leaving this. So that might, that might push um, what was stated earlier on when it comes to Griffith and and uh, Guts's relationship slash rivalry slash what may what I may perceive as them potentially going against each other um, that may push that idea and then that might force that whole thing of of guts becoming who he becomes in episode one so yeah i know it's a lot but this show is is, is really good so i'm here for it uh also comment down below because this is like i said this I'm a, this is coming to an end episode 10 so i'm probably gonna have like maybe five reactions at most left uh for this so whatever anime series you guys want me to start watching next definitely start throwing those down below and I'll, if i start seeing a lot of a particular type of anime I'll definitely look into it I have one right now in mind um, I'm gonna look more into it I don't know if I would fully classify it as an anime but you know I might I might just react so but anyways these are my thoughts on Berserk episode 14 and 15 more videos on the way when it comes to this Berserk series we're almost we're almost at that that end point we right now kind of like at that middle ish the end middle point of it you know but let's see it's Johnny J. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, comment down below you guys' thoughts. I'm out.